Governor DeSantis stepping up his attacks on efforts to combat COVID-19. He wants to permanently ban mask mandates at schools and vaccine requirements for local governments and businesses. News for Jacques reporter Marilyn Parker is joining us live. Marilyn, the governor's calling on the legislature to set in stone the temporary prohibitions that will expire in June. That's right. The governor says these protections will provide protection or these changes will provide protection for free speech for medical practitioners. It will fight vaccine discrimination and more. Now, I spoke with local health professionals who say they think this legislation will pass, even though they feel it's a political move and ultimately won't help the people of Florida. Yet again, to marginalize people, Governor Ron DeSantis takes aim at COVID-19 practices. They start to discriminate against Americans based on VAC status by treating them different in their own workplaces. They sought to impose masking requirements on everyone from spectators at sporting events to young school children. And they sought to silence medical practitioners who followed the evidence and back the science over the narrative. This time, his plan for the legislative session is to prescribe freedom. The plan starts with permanent protections against what he calls the biomedical security state. It prohibits COVID-19 mask requirements statewide, vaccine and mask requirements at schools, and vaccine passports. It also prohibits employers from hiring or firing based on mRNA vaccination status. Lawmakers put some of those protections in place in a 2021 special session. This proposal would make them permanent. State Surgeon General Dr. Joseph Latipo credits the governor for his actions. I'm happy that we have a lot of consensus around this new legislation to really codify more common sense in, in Florida. On the other hand, a local health expert says it's the exact opposite of common sense. So to legislate against something today that we don't know what will happen in the future is only a political is only a political ploy. Dr. Latipo has been identified by many credible organizations, including the American Academy of Pediatrics, as an example, as promoting non-evidence-based approaches to this disease uh, that has, in fact, directly and indirectly resulted in uh, the deaths of thousands of Floridians. Dr. Goldhagen says getting vaccines and wearing masks is a personal decision. COVID is less prevalent today, but data from the Florida Department of Health shows cases have been rising over the last six weeks. The governor's proposal also also calls for protecting medical freedom of speech, which he says would protect the right to disagree with the preferred narrative of the medical community and protect the religious views of medical professionals. The legislative session starts in March to see recent COVID-19 cases in the state. Click on this story on newsforjax.com. Reporting live, Marilyn Parker, Channel 4, The Local Station.